After water, concrete is the single most widely used material in the world. 4.4 billion tons of the substance are produced every year, and in construction, it's used twice as much as all other materials combined. Concrete is everywhere, and because of that, so is waste concrete. Over time, when roads and structures are demolished and replaced, millions of tons of concrete rubble are produced, and it's mostly just dumped. But it can also be recycled and resold for some serious cash. We put together this video to show you why you might want to start recycling concrete and how to get started. But before we get down to brass tacks, if you like construction content like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the Machinery Partner YouTube channel for more like this. Let's get into it. When we talk about recycling concrete, we aren't talking about reusing concrete for its normal applications, like house foundations or structural projects. Concrete can be recycled in this way, but it requires a lot of heavy processing to bring it down to a fine sand-like material. What we're interested in is reusing concrete as an aggregate. This involves breaking it down with something like a jaw crusher so that it can be used for things like road base, decorative stone and more. So why would you want to use concrete instead of something like gravel as an aggregate? Well, it really comes down to access to material. And like we said at the start of this video, concrete is everywhere. Say for example, you're a haulage business and you're being paid to remove waste concrete from a site. If you run five 22 ton loads of material to a dump site, that's 110 tons of material. Normally, you might have to pay a fee to dump this material, but with some processing, it could be making you up to $30 a ton instead. That's over $3,000 of material you're just paying to throw away. This is really common. We actually hear a lot of our customers telling us that they pay thousands of dollars a month to dump and get rid of concrete that they're giving to someone else just to crush and make money from. Recycling concrete starts to make even more sense if your business is producing waste concrete or if you use aggregates as part of your work. This type of business can save themselves on dumping fees, stop paying for material, and even produce some of their own material to make an extra buck or two. For example, we recently spoke to a small paving contractor that is dumping around 260 tons of concrete a month. To dump that 260 tons and get his monthly work done, he pays 80 man hours to haul the material away, rent for his dump trailer, insurance for the trailer, fuel, fees to dump the waste material, and then base material costs to complete his own work. This totals up to 67.50 a month, mostly just to throw material away that somebody else is making money from. Taking a look at his setup, we recommended a small and mobile crushing unit that can crush up to 34 tons an hour. This is more than enough for what he needs, and with a small 10 by 5 foot footprint, can be taken to almost any site. I'll drop a link in the video description. With this new crusher setup, here's how much he pays. The monthly cost to finance his new crusher, machine insurance, fuel to run the machine, operator costs to run the machine, and no base costs because now he's producing his own material. This brings his new total right down to just 1870. This means by crushing and recycling his own concrete, this contractor could be saving almost $5,000 a month. In this use case, the crusher is only running for 13 hours a month. This leaves plenty of room for this contractor to make extra money either crushing for other people or renting out his machine. And this is a small use case. We actually have customers that are producing up to $20,000 worth of material every day. So by this point, it should be pretty clear that recycling concrete can be very lucrative for companies that are producing waste concrete or demolition materials. Why throw your material away when it can be crushed down and reused on site or resold? It cuts down on operator costs, rent, and other costs associated with hauling waste material away. Great, but where do you start? What type of equipment or experience do you even need to start recycling concrete? Do you need a permit? Can you crush anywhere? Are there noise restrictions? Well, first things first, you need access to a consistent supply of old concrete to crush. If you run a paving or demolition company, this should be no problem as you're likely already breaking pavements or structures at your job sites. Allowing others to dump on your land for free is another great way to get access to free waste concrete material, especially if other sites in your area are charging people to dump. The next step is to find out what the requirements are for crushing in your area, or whether you might need a noise permit to crush in certain areas. Your best bet here is probably to talk to somebody nearby who's already crushing, or if not, there's also plenty of information online. Once you have the correct permits for your area and a consistent flow of material to recycle, you need to find a machine to process your waste concrete. This can be a bit of a minefield with plenty of size and budget options, and local dealerships often pushing what they have in the lot as opposed to what's exactly right for you. That's why we started Machinery Partner. We have a team of highly experienced experts in concrete processing and recycling 
to help you source and finance the exact right piece of equipment for your needs. We have a wide range of equipment to match every budget and use case, and we're also around 25% cheaper than when you buy from a normal dealership, because we let you buy directly from the manufacturer. If you want to start recycling concrete, reach out. We're more than happy to help, or even just give some advice. That's all for this video. If you thought this was useful, drop a like and consider subscribing to the Machinery Partner YouTube channel for more construction content like this. Catch you in the next one.